Hi everyone, I am the lucky owner of a new XT cassette. This is the CSM8000 as you can see it here. This is the new 11 speed cassette from Shimano in the uh, XT, the OR XT group. As you can see here, it has two alumin aluminum carriers, one aluminum sprocket, uh, this is the 42. Uh, I assume that is the locking ring. This is for MTB and what I have here is the 1142 1x11. These are made in Japan as you can see here. User manual. Pretty useless. And this is pretty much the uh, standard Shimano packing for this stuff, which is just this uh, cling wrap. All right. And here it is. The locking ring, the same thing, 4 Newton meters, uh, maximum force. The OR-XT, this is nice and black, CSM8000. This is 11 speed made in Japan. Nice. 1142, again CSM8000 here. Dinesis. Okay. All right. So we remove that from the back. The cassette comes apart. <laughs> So here is what do we have here. So, locking rank 11, 13 with the spacer in it, 15 spacer, 17 spacer, 19. This is new. Okay, then we have the first carrier here with 21, 24, 28. And then the last piece here, which is your 32, 37, and 42. So here it is. On the scale, this is 430 grams, and I'm pretty sure this is about 95 grams more than the previous XT. Let me take a look at that one. Okay, so this is your previous gen uh, Dior XT CSM771 10 speed cassette that starts with an 11 uh, tooth. And if I'm to measure it, this comes up to 337 grams. So we're talking about 93 grams difference between the 1136 and the 1142 there are a few differences here and that is so we have uh, 11 13 15 17 loose on the uh, 1136 the 10 speed and then you have the two carriers here. this one the new one you have 11 13 15 17 and 19 and then you have the two carriers these two uh, the spacing between cogs on these two cassettes is actually identical up to the last two this is the last one is 36 on the new one is 37 then you have the 42 but let me take a look at the modified 1036 1136 with something like uh, one up see how that one uh, compares to the new 1142. So what I have here is this is a 42 cog from one up, the 16 cog from one up, and the one mil aluminum spacer that's used either here or in the back, depending on whether you have a SRAM or a Shimano cassette. But if you are to combine these two with uh, this 1136. So you keep the two carriers and the 19 is over there. You remove 17, 
15 and the spacer. And what you do, you put your 16 here, you put your 1113 and the locking ring. And in theory, you kind of have the same range, not spaced out the same way or not as nice. Let me see it. So from a weight standpoint, this comes up to 392. So it's a bit lighter than the 1142, but that one has an extra cog. Uh, the other thing is with this one, with the 16 cog here, uh, I never got clean shifting uh, going up. Um, it's hit and miss. Uh, the other thing is you need uh, either a SRAM uh, powertrain or something like the rather cage from one up to make this actually work with the 42. So uh, a few challenges here. This works fine, but uh, needs a little bit of fiddling and is not has never been perfect for me. So what I'm looking for with the new cassette, I'm looking to have a clean 11 to 42, which is the same range, but a clean shifting and you know worry-free if you want a uh, drivetrain. So anyway, uh, this is pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys found this useful. I'm looking forward to install it myself. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And um, if you want to keep an eye on my next videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.